there's like three reasons that if you have a thing around that, that is much smarter than you and does not care about humans, demons end up dead. Uh, or three categories of reasons. Somebody watching this is going to come up with a fourth, and you know, one of them is going to be right, and you know, whatever. <laughs> um, killed off as side effects. Killed off because we're made of resources that they can use. And killed off because it doesn't want the humans building some other superintelligence that could actually threaten it. So, you know, if you, the, the limit on how many, how much, let, let's say you start on on Earth. Even if you launch some probes to other planets, you're still going to have a bunch of hardware left behind on Earth. You're not going to like just launch all the hardware. That, that's like more expensive than is worth it. You have some hardware left behind on Earth, it's going to replicate, it's going to build more of itself, more factories. Maybe you're asking it to do computation. How much computation can you do on the surface of Earth via the sort of obvious method? Well, the basic limit on computation is that it generates heat. <clears throat> Irreversible operations generate heat. You can have reversible computing, you can have quantum computing. Some operations are still irreversible, they generate heat. How much heat can you generate? Well, you can boil away the oceans as a heat sink. You can maybe like melt some of the crust as a heat sink. And then you can do a, like, generate about as much power as you can radiate away into the atmosphere, depending on how hot you're running. You know, there's, that's how you can like turn the spare hydrogen in the water on the surface of Earth into energy via fusion, and then turn the energy into computation. And <coughs> you get a big burst of initial computation from boiling the oceans. And then past that point, you know, like how much computation can do is limited by how hot you can make the Earth before everything melts in order to, to radiate more heat away into space. That, that's how close you can get to just like turning all the hydrogen on Earth into fusion energy and, and using it for something by computation. This would tend to wipe humans out as a side effect. Similarly, if you're like intercepting all the energy from the sun, even if you did leave Earth, you'd, you, you would then like intercept all the energy from the sun and that's not going to be good for Earth. There's also some chemical potential energy in a human body. So maybe the first thing you do when you're like just like grabbing all the energy you can get in the initial phase, maybe even before you are finished building all the fusion plants, you're just like using all the chemical potential energy on the surface of the Earth, which gets you like about a, I think like about the same as like a couple of days worth of solar energy. I forget the exact calculation. You can get it right away. You don't have to wait a couple of days. A couple of days could be a very long time if you're thinking at super intelligent speeds. So, you know, maybe it's just like using the atoms in us. Now, use it, uses it up for the chemical potential energy, maybe plugs it into a fusion plant, maybe build some computers out of the carbon. That's the second way. That's the second reason, you know, that humans might all end up dead. We're made out of resources. And third, you know, third reason, um, side effect, use up the resources. And, you know, if you just leave the humans around, maybe they build a super intelligence and that thing actually figures out how to poison your hardware by launching actually intelligent attacks on it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna wanna worry about it, right? So it does, just does, it's not very expensive to call the humans. If it's worth some like, there's some like tiny little unit of probability you can, of surety you can get by killing all the humans right away, then just kill all the humans. It's cheap. Hi, I'm Logan Bartlett, the host of this podcast. I just wanted to take a quick second to tell you that we have a bunch of killer guests coming on over the course of the next few weeks. And so if you're enjoying these conversations with both entrepreneurs and investors, please do subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out.